Hi there, just uh, redone my Burbus Kinks Viv uh, Bond. He's somewhere under here at the moment. You might see him respond if I wiggle the terrain. We've gone for a new type of substrate, this uh, Aspen wood chip and sand combo. It's uh, layered up the whole depth that we have here. Good three inches maybe. Uh, a few features of his vivarium. Up the top here we have a heat lamp and a UVAB bulb. He's got a little uh, baskin ledge here which is directly underneath his heat lamp. We call that Pride Rock. We call Pride Rock. Uh, a nice large water bowl so uh, he can bathe in it if he wants to cool down or when shedding to help with the shed. Again, nice deep layering because they like to tunnel and he's under here somewhere at the moment. He might be in his little cave. Uh, there's also at the back here we have this little climbing wall which leads up to these vines. You can quite often find him hiding up here in the hot top of the vivarium. It's a custom made vivarium by ourselves. And uh, that's about it really. Just need to find the star of the show, Bond himself. I'll find him. He's around He's here. He's hiding down there somewhere. He's in his cave. You can see. He's somewhere around here. <laughs> here he is. Come on, where are you? Nope. Oh. There, there he is. is. This is Bond. Not quite sure how old he is. He measures about 11 and a half inches, maybe. Just about. It's hard to tell sometimes. We have measured him about two weeks ago after his last shed. He's currently not eating a lot at the moment, but we believe, um, have been told that this could be due to mating season coming up. So he's uh, trying to slim down, ready for the ladies. <laughs> and he's just checking out his new Viv, because you've only just put him in it two seconds yeah. ago. <laughs> We've just put him in the new setup. You see, I've currently got the glass out for easy access. I made the Viv myself. I can just remove this strip, slot it out. See, you can see he's getting quite long, right down to his full tail still. And, yeah, and he's full tail, no kinks. Very healthy. We believe he might not even be a year, maybe just over a year. And we had him aged in sex when we got him about four months ago. He likes being handled. Very friendly most yeah. of the time. A little bit camera shy at the moment, hiding in his little vine. Yeah, our first lizard, and we're very lucky to have him. Say bye, Bond. Oh, wait a minute, he's getting active. Bond. There we go, you see him poking his head out here. <laughs> he yeah. likes the vines. Although he's not a very good climber, he likes to climb. So I'm quite glad we've gone on to this soft bedding, because if he does fall out, it's softer. As you can see, it likes to get right to the top. Yeah. You may notice this larger bulkhead in the back of the vivarium. That's a little design feature I added in. If I come outside, <coughs> there's his live food at the moment. But to hide all of the uh, electrics and the um, power pack for the lighting, a nice little recessed shelf at the back of the viv. And from the front, you barely even notice it. It doesn't take up much extra space. He's not losing out on floor space and that's his only climbing space. It's a nice little obstacle for him and it keeps the whole Bavarian nice and tidy. Yes. So, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and whatnot. Cheers. Bye.